Namaste again, my beautiful girls. If you saw my previous part, then this is the part two of uh, what is that we need to know now about what we have to do about what's going on with our boys whether it is twin flame or your karmic soulmate uh information we need to know if you didn't watch my previous video then we are going to do five set of five cards please remember my beautiful queens that this is general so Feel your heart chakra. If you feel the vibration there when I am speaking, then you have to listen to this and it, this is the message for you. If you don't feel the vibration, it does not resonate, means it's not for you, so you don't have to really think about it. So just feel it. You always know the truth inside of your soul. Your soul is always right your intuition is always right your intuition is never wrong so in this video what we are doing I'm using three decks I could use more than three by then I will be talking till tomorrow uh, I am using three <clears throat> three decks when I want to see what information about you and your man you love uh, your twin flame, your karmic soulmate, what the message we need to get, what's going on with them, what's going on with us, what our next step needs to be, what else we have to do or don't have to do, we will be able to see in the three decks. So you need to choose one or five. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice constantly. Uh, number uh, one, set of cards number one, Adin. Set of cards number two, Dva. Set of cards number three, Tri. Set of cards number four, uh, Chitiri. And set of cards number five, Pet. You can use pendulum, it's very easy if you're not sure. Uh, pendulum, which tells you which one. If you don't have the pendulum, just listen to your intuition. If it rings the bell, let's say it again. One, two, three, four, five. Lately, I'm drawn to number five constantly. How about I... Uh, I'll choose this one for myself. Okay, so those of you who put uh, timestamps, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you million times, because I never have time for that. So let us go into it. <clears throat> should have taken some water on a coffee. I, I don't need to, I shouldn't do any more coffee because I already did five cups. Uh, number one, my beautiful queens, number one, Okay, very interesting. So, what do we need to know about our boys, about us and our next step? You, as you are divine feminine, this is, you are mirroring each other because there is a wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune is turning. <clears throat> the message here for you, even though usually it's not extremely positive card, uh, in um, it can have positive meaning, but I'm gonna read it as how I am receiving the message right now. So, uh, you have already won, your light and your love have already won. Uh, so, you have four of these cups standing in front of you this is your achievement that you what you have achieved this is how uh how high you have risen in your soul in your spirit in your physical this cup right here is you and this is how he sees you he sees you as the treasure he sees you as his other half he sees you as the gift of the heaven but still there are some things which prevent him prevent him from uh 
taking that treasure. Uh, it could be his inner fears. It could be the inner doubts. It could be that he still has to do something and uh, in life before he takes it. But the Wheel of Fortune here talks about him realizing and knowing who you are in his life. But re right next to it is the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune, even though sometimes it has, um, it, it rarely works as a negative, a negative um, card. The only negativity of a Wheel of Fortune is that it goes up and it, co it goes down, means that if something not easy was in your life, it's going to go uh, up and uh, luck comes to you. But the, uh, the ruler of this card is Uranus Neptune and Pluto, the rules of this card. So they're three planets which are ruling karma. And a cultic meaning of this card is the luck. It's the destiny. It's a will of fortune. This is the power of life, love, and karma, and destiny. So, yes, there was quite a bit of time when you were in this stage. Some of you... Some of you, my beautiful girls, were married and uh, had a very stable life when everybody around you thought that you have it all. Or it could be mirror of your, of your man that he had have a life when he had uh, it all in his life. And uh, then you came as a realization that nothing as it is that there is something else he he was missing in his life and now the will is turning and coming to shine so time for both of you coming to shine and shine as one shine as one in union because will of fortune even though, look how interesting it is, three different decks, even though you still have, I feel it in you, I feel it in those of you who have chosen it, I feel that a uh, little bit of sadness and a little bit of uh, wanting to sit a little bit in a, in a little corner and cry, but Wheel of Fortune tells you their changes have happened. You have already won. The light have already won. And you don't have to do much anymore. Because everything you have done, all the power of your heart and soul and spirit you have put into this, will turn and turn the very heavy wheel of a destiny when things looked hopeless. And it looked like it's never going to happen. The wheel is turning with the light and time for you is coming to shine. And this is happening now and will be happening in the nearest future. And the changes of the situation are inventable. Whether you believe it, your happiness is coming to you. Or you believe it not anymore, it is coming to you. The cycle had happened and the union of you and the man you love is coming. Again, feel it in your heart chakra. If you feel this is true, this is true. And uh, there is a little interesting um, picture I, I have in my head now you walking along the beach in the sand holding hands so uh, especially for those of you who are living somewhere near uh, the, the beach or the ocean or the sea or any shore with the sand those of you especially but not uh, not uh, uh, necessarily but there is water out there where you can walk along that water so karmic relationship the destiny of course karmic soulmate and twin flames time for both of you to shine even though him and you still feel a little sad sometimes uh it's coming so number two <clears throat> hi Prius. look at that i cannot believe it look at that number two same thing you see this um i don't know if you saw previous one four of cups Four of Cups. So we are mirroring. You see how we are all connecting. We are mirroring a lot. Because I woke this morning. 
Uh, I woke this morning feeling sad and uh, the same thing what I have just described. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is Five of Cups. Five of Cups, it's a little bit uh, different than Four of Cups. But the message is pretty much the same. You wake up feeling uh, a little bit sad and feeling doubts and feeling like i don't know you know is is it gonna happen when it's gonna happen because when i look at the real events in my life as for today it doesn't look like it's ever gonna happen and my dreams will ever come true but here comes the high priestess and do i even have to explain you the high priestess Everything you feel on the level of your intuition, on the level of your soul, on the level of your guts, when you feel it with every particle of your existence, every breathing moment, you breathe in and out, and the whole world tells you you believe in nonsense. The whole world tells you you're crazy. The whole world tells you this is wrong, what you feel, what you know, what you do, what you sense. You need to go to a psychiatrist and take some pills, maybe. You are a high priestess. Clearly, the card is here message to you please do not forget who you are if you need to read into it it's easy after you watch this video you go into google and write there hi priestess what it is this is who you are and even though high priestess you are living in physical body and your physical body sometimes misses him and uh, wants to him to be with you now this very second this very moment and you feel sad and there is a disappointment and doubts and fears and you don't know will it happen when it's gonna happen but high priestess tell you this is who you are another message here girls this is how he sees you your divine masculine twin flame or your karmic soulmate or your karmic partner he knows and guess what girls it's not uh, it's really scary for a man of 3d to face high priestess because she's an ocean you are the ocean to him filled with mysteries filled with unexplained uh, quests and it's so complicated but it pulls him it's a connection of the soul soul to soul he knows you are there he knows who you are he knows you are the other half and he as well goes through the sadness through doubts through the past losses through the past pains but look at the third card here embrace and who do we see here a man and the heart which is blooming and he's over the earth shining with his crown chakra what it means rising above 3d realizing shining waking up and embracing this journey together with you this is the message for those of you with uh, number two uh this is a previous one number three those of you who chose number three ah take the lead interesting so this is our boy <laughs> look at that an ace of pentacles uh so Clearly, of course, you see that it's so uncomfortable to hold three different uh, different cards from three different decks. Hermit stage, very good stage for him so far. So, your boy woke up. Your boy woke up because this is his heart chakra. No longer he is in 3D, but he was in 3D. So, some of you are dealing with clearly someone who was in 3d for a very long time uh, so we are dealing with earthy energies which are taurus virgo or capricorn uh was uh pretty long in that <clears throat> but right now in the stage of hermit he is alone he finally stopped running from himself 
He stopped running from himself. The deepest card in the 78 cards of Tarot. The deepest. And you see, this is an interesting deck called Arcanum. So you can take it how you see it. Seeker of the light. Of the true light. And what is his true light? You. Opening up his heart, no longer living in the old paradigm. Not running away from the truth of the heart of the soul, but in order to come to you, he needs to stay for some time in the hermit mode. And this is where you are staying as well, in the hermit mode. He is going deep in into his own heart and soul starting to live not as people telling him not wear the masks he's supposed to be perfect for other people it's a sacred going into sacred ancient soul of his own self must realize fully who you are to him understand fully who he is what his soul wants, not what society wants or 3D wants or dark wants from him. What he truly and deeply wants, embraces, connects with himself. Connects with himself. And who helped him to connect with himself? You. Inner wisdom, inner light, inner understanding He's submerged into his own inner ancient soul to see fully the truth, to embrace fully the truth, to realize fully the truth. For what? Look how interesting. For what? Ace of Pentacles. So after he embraced the truth, he can be with you in 3D world. You, uh, I already told you, if those of you who saw my previous readings, Ace of Pentacles is the most positive card in uh, Minor Arcanas. Turning of the events, turning, happy turning of the events, union, honeymoon, marriage, relationship, which have years and years, dozens of years to come. Many, many years together. This is what meant to happen great happiness but also good thing that you are going to be wealthy two of you are going to live very comfortable lifestyle but greatest thing that in conjunction with their uh, hermit you're going to do lots of things for others and waking up others when there is ace of pentacles together with the awakened soul huge energy Huge potential, huge light, huge uh, creative energies coming from you two uniting, helping those who are less privileged. You enjoying each other, you enjoying your life, but also you enjoying changing the life of the others. You are going to be together. Take the lead. This is the message not for you. This is what his soul tells him. After you find your truth, connect with yourself, you take the lead so you two can be together. This is a message for you, number three. I cannot believe it. Uh, how, how connected we are with each other. Uh, a more and more positive uh, messages coming from our boys more and more positive it makes me so happy the more of you unite the brighter the light the more of you unite the more chances for the other to unite this is like a magnet please please boys go to your girls rely and unite with them girls shine girls shine the brighter you shine, the more, uh, the faster is that union. Number five. Okay. Now, here we have a little bit uh, very similar to previous one, but look at that. What I just said, 
if you have listened to the previous one unbelievable how they it's just it's just crazy just mirror each other a hermit what i just said about hermit this is very similar to the stage of the hermit very similar but this is much deeper this is the major arcana so what the boys is doing because the boy the boy is in here and as you mirror each other this partially of course is on you so what is the four of pent four of swords in this arcana um i'm sorry in arcana uh deck four of swords you see the meditating man very similar to the card of the hermit i must stay alone now i must get away from all the 3d things from the things i must say for other people to be happy from the things i must do for other people to consider me normal from the things they want me to say they want me to do from the mask i need to wear hermit this is mirroring two cards but this is major arcana i must stay alone i must get inside of myself i must take time out from the crowd and finally face me connect with me and understand if i want to make changes i must understand who i am who she is for me what we are together and this answers i can only find inside of myself another karmic card another karmic soulmate connection another uh, card shows that all the events happening now in your life as the result of the past lives i think denying past lives is something so stupid at the point of us right now knowing the knowledge what we know time for you to stay alone for you girls for you my beautiful divine feminine you have already been doing this but this one this boy of yours he was hurt before so the hurt and the fear was holding him from coming to you so he calms his mind and gets inside of his soul uh, so he knows how to act what to do he was betrayed he was hurt probably we are dealing with someone who was hurt in childhood as well but he was betrayed he was hurt he is someone who told himself my heart must become ice and i took my heart i put it in a box and i closed the box and i threw the box in the depths of the ocean and then you come into his life and no longer he can do it so he gets inside in order to heal up and make a choice because this is a card of a choice in order to make that choice to walk through this gate of the new to leave the old paradigm probably the old family old relationship old version of himself he needs to go through this and please help him by send him sending him your light and your love and the third one we have here open up open up how beautiful it is the choice is not done yet but he is getting there because after five after four of swords coming five of swords which is softened by open up and two of wands when you do make the choice but in order to make that choice he has to embrace his own shadow not deny it not run away from it but embrace his shadow accept himself forgive himself heal himself and this only became possible because of you because you never closed your heart and never stopped believing that he can never stopped it never gave up you you kept on shining you kept on rising yourself and so now he is in a healing process 
so he can make the choice and open up back to you this is the message for you girls and now message for myself oh boy i know why didn't i even say it oh scary message for you number five and message for myself now it's gonna be death and tower or something seriously okay wow all right message for myself and you <laughs> wealthy guy huh powerful so look at this <laughs> number five girls uh whoever you're dealing with if this is the big kingdom of a small kingdom of your boy ace of pentacles i already look how crazy we just had ace of pentacles where we had ace of pentacles in the number three we had ace of pentacles here we just had in number three ace of pentacles you see this this is how we are all connected so dealing with uh emperor sultan sheikh king whatever someone who had a kingdom who still has kingdom ace of pentacles lots of earthy 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 energies Ah, because come on he's not a, it's not even a king of pentacles this is ace of pentacles so i have my kingdom built on midgard earth with great walls and lots of money whether your has a thousand dollars in his bank account he consider he has a lot or he has i don't know 10 million or worth and billy whatever he has so you are dealing with powerful, powerful, powerful man. Powerful and most possible wealthy. Because come on, girls, the Ace of Pentacles cannot be a poor man and cannot be a man who doesn't have uh, possessions in 3D. Because earthy energies. Some of you with Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn. Some of you with the Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Because there is the water here. So exactly as i gave you the message through a divine masculine channeled message to divine feminine i've built my kingdom and everything was very stable and i was ruling there i was a ruler i'm ruling my kingdom i'm a ruler here you come and uh, his kingdom is still standing strong there but you have come and brought something from completely different dimension seven of cups dreams what helps him to wake up fully and to bring you into his kingdom the dreams because you are not with him now dreaming about you helping him to stand strong and to keep on coming to his own truth uh, girls beautiful queens reach out you see this this is you this is you sitting here thinking and that's never gonna happen it's just never gonna happen i don't know why have i been fighting for so long why have i been fighting so much why have i been rising myself out of the ashes over you see the hands these are the hands of those people in physical world and non-physical world who didn't allow you to fall the friends of yours maybe some healers you were communicating with maybe some uh some somebody like me maybe even at some point i'm not going to take credit for this but at some point even me those are the hands of those uh people who were holding you when you are in ash and you you want to give up and don't want to believe anymore here comes another uh, another palm and, and holding you so you can come to the top where you can um, meet your divine counterpart your soulmate or your uh, twin flame uh, and you are here and he's here and between you the dreams 
it all started as him dreaming about you. You have come to him as this dream come true, as something so pure and so bright and so light that he didn't even take you for some quite a bit of time as real because you were too good to be true for him. And uh, he was holding on in dreaming about you. And uh, for some point, dream about you was enough uh, for him to stay in his earthy material 3D kingdom and be okay there. But the time was passing by and the dreams were becoming more and more not enough. And up to this point, the message for you right now that he's going to reach out to you because the time has come for the dreams become reality and you walking into his life as the part of not his dreamland but as his true one other half he's gonna make you a part of his life a part of his kingdom a part of his soul a part of his everything because the time has come for it I'm not going to take this message for myself, but this is the message for you. Don't want to even think about it. This is the message for you, my beautiful queens. These are all. And um, I hope it was helpful, my beautiful queens. I will talk to you later. Namaste.